Hi, everybody. So I'm going to read a waitress poem. I, I was a waitress for 15 years after I got my degree in social work. Uh, has anyone here ever worked in a restaurant? All right. <laughs> or, or a coffee shop or a pizza place, etc. cetera. Uh, so you'll know what I mean. And the rest of you, I think, have probably been customers. <laughs> I loved being a waitress. And then also, you know, there were those times when I didn't. And this is a poem about tipping. It's instructions on tipping. A waitress's instructions on tipping or get the cash up and don't waste my time. 20% minimum as long as the waitress doesn't inflict bodily harm. If you're two people at a four top, tip extra. If you sit a long time, pay rent. Double tips for special orders. Always tip extra when using coupons. Better yet, don't use coupons. Never leave change instead of bills, no pennies. Never hide a tip for fun. Over tip, then tip some more. Remember, I am somebody's mother or daughter. No separate piles of change for large parties. If people in your party don't show up, tip for them. Don't wait around for gratitude. Take a risk. Don't adjust your tips so your credit card total is even. Don't ever, ever pull out a tipping guide in public. If you leave 10% or less, eat at home. If I call a taxi for you, tip me. If I hang up your coat for you, tip me. If I get cigarettes for you, tip me. Better yet, do it yourself. Don't fold a bill and hand it to me like you're a big shot. Don't say there's a big tip in it for you if. Don't say, I want to make sure you get this, like a busboy would steal it. Don't say, here, honey, this is for you, ever. If you buy a $50 bottle of wine, pull out a 10. If I serve you one cocktail, don't hand me 35 cents. If you're just having coffee, leave a five. So the hate mail part was it. Um, it was published in the Pittsburgh Post Gazette a number of years ago, and uh, the editor calls me and says, "Well, we have a lot of letters." And <laughs> he said, "I don't want to start a tipping guide in, tipping fight in the paper." And I said, "Why not? That would be kind of fun." But uh, he said, "No, I just wanted to let you know." There was one letter from a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, she's no longer there, but she um, said. This is a terrible poem. Uh, who does Jan Beatty think she is telling us how to tip? And, and I wasn't really upset about it because I thought, you know, she's a bad tipper. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was very clear to me. And I'm going to end with a, a short poem. Actually, it's a short poem about tipping again. I'm a little obsessed with tipping, as you can tell. Um, this is a different kind of tipping poem. <laughs> uh, let me find it. But I know you'll know what I mean. Um, if, you, if you have any friends who are kind of different, you know, um, and a lot of times as poets and writers, we're a little different. People don't get us maybe right away, but don't worry about that. You know, they will. Uh, important to be yourself. So I had this friend named Lou who used to walk around and give people money on the street. Um, um, sometimes homeless people, but sometimes anybody who's walking down the street. And uh, I, I thought it was fun, so I would do it with him. Now Lou is, is, uh, is a playwright in New York. Uh, this is called The Zen of Tipping. My friend Lou used to walk up to strangers and tip them. No, really. He'd cruise the south side, pick out the businessman on his way to lunch, the slacker hanging by the beehive, the young girl walking her dog, and he'd go up, pull out a dollar, and say, here's a tip for you. I think you're doing a really good job today. <laughs> then Lou would walk away as the tippy stood in mystified silence. Sometimes he would cut it short with, keep up the fine work. People thought Lou was weird, 
but he wasn't. He didn't have much, worked as a waiter. I don't know why he did it, but I know it wasn't about the magnanimous gesture and easy way to feel important. It wasn't interrupting the impenetrable edge of the individual. You'd have to ask Lou. Maybe it was about being awake, hand-to-hand -hand sweetness, a chain of kindnesses, or fun, the tenderness we forget in each other. Thanks. <laughs>